I want to talk to you about our next mission, STP-3. It's a very, very cool mission. I'm here in the DOSC, the Operations Center in Denver, which is going to be filled with engineers in just a few days. This mission is a rare and unique trajectory, something we call a direct injection into GSO or geosynchronous orbit. We're going to use our biggest atlas, the 551, the Bruiser, five solid rocket motors, 2.6 million pounds of thrust at liftoff to do this. The spacecraft is also pretty cool, but that's classified. So back to the rocket. When we lift off, we're going to go straight up into the sky. We're going to be nearly orbital when the first stage finishes. It'll just take a few minutes to consume all that propellant and then Centaur will take over. It'll take us with a very short burn just into a LEO parking orbit so we can coast around to be perfectly aligned for the latitude we want for this spacecraft. Then it's going to do a hard burn. It's going to throw us out on a big elliptical orbit, a home and transfer that exactly intersects at its highest altitude with the destination. Normally, you'd be done right now and the rocket would drop you off and the spacecraft would have to use its own fuel to circularize that orbit, shortening its life. But not this time. This time, Centaur is going to go all the way. We're going to coast for five long hours, because that's how long it takes to get from Leo to Geo. And then just as we are intersecting that altitude, Centaur will come back to life, fire up for another burn, and lift that perigee all the way out into a perfect circular orbit at geosynchronous altitude, 36,000 kilometers above Earth, a period that is exactly a day, so the spacecraft appears to hover in the sky. Go Atlas, go Centaur, go STP-3.